So welcome back guys. My name is Amran and in today's Make Much Free campaign we go about looking at what you can do in case while trying to upgrade your Google storage you don't find your payment method listed. Now this happened with me. I am basically from India and I wanted to use UPI and certain net banking methods but while upgrading my Google One storage I wasn't able to find the same while doing it on the web. Now what I suggest is you try and do this on the mobile application. Now inside mobile application, first log into your Google account and from here head towards your managing your Google account. Now the thing here is that you want to upgrade your Google account storage things. So as you scroll down, you will see there are several things here inside home, but you basically want to add storage. So where do you go? So if you see the tabs here, there's a certain tab which is called as payment and subscriptions. So you want to subscribe to the Google One storage thing. So you see here it says account storage is simply 2.36. Now this, say I want to upgrade it to a 100 GB plan or something. There is something called as manage payment methods. Now even here, when I tap on manage payment methods, the only option that it will present to me is adding of a credit debit card. I mean, it shows me a page wherein like I don't have anything here listed and I don't get to add anything. So I mean earlier it used to show add debit credit card but that also doesn't appear. So nothing really appears here. So what I do is what I suggest is there are two ways. One is like uh, you have the option of wherein you say see manage storage simply tap here. Here like as you scroll down you will see this get offer. So tap on this and you will see that there's an option of pay with UPI and add credit debit card, but you don't see net banking. Say in case you want to also have access to net banking, do know that there is one more way possible. And the way possible here is you basically have to head towards Play Store. And inside Play Store, tap on the profile icon here. Here, go towards payment and subscriptions, go towards payment methods and here you will see the all the payment methods will appear like debit credit card, net banking, pay with UPI, redeem code. Say for example, I want to add GPA to this. I simply tap on pay with G UPI, I tap on GPA and GPA will now be added as a payment method. Say I want to add say uh, phone pay to this. I simply tap on add phone pay and like phone pay gets added to it. Or you can actually add your UPI ID also in case you know your UPI ID, you can enter your UPI ID and that gets added. In case you want to add net banking, you can add your net banking credentials from here. And once you do this, this payment methods are basically getting added onto your Google account. So say for example, this is your Google account because you may have multiple Google accounts, but this payment method is getting added to the Google account, which is now presently under use. And using this payment methods, if you uh, decide to upgrade your storage, so whatever Google account you're upgrading to upgrading your storage, it will be the same. Like suppose here I'm using it for a certain account xyz at gmail.com. Now I access xyz at gmail.com say for my laptop or my uh, Apple or anything like my mobiles, my iPhone. Like once I log into that Google account, obviously the storage space that's upgraded will reflect across any device so i hope the point is very clear now i have added uh, like two payment methods here so let me uh, like you know see if those payment methods are now reflecting here so when i go now to manage payment methods hopefully uh, like the upis which i have added should reflect here and there you can see it's reflecting so now when i will decide to make a payment so whether be it net banking whether be it upi or whether be it uh, anything other than uh, anything that I have added will also reflect here and I can easily upgrade. So for people who have not been able to use UPI or net banking or credit debit cards because the web application is not showing those methods, I suggest logging into your Play Store and adding to your Google account certain payment methods and then try check uh, checking whether those payment methods will now reflect. Because for me, it does reflect and I'm pretty sure that this method will help for everyone who is facing issues with this particular case. So guys, I really think this is pretty important because it did give me a lot of headache 
tried accessing their customer support nothing helped until i figured this out on my own and i think that this may help a lot of you so if you find this helpful kindly consider subscribing and also please do share this with your friends and family because i really think this is pretty important until next time it's me amlan signing off